Maxi the Cairn Terrier, with his fur ruffling in the gentle breeze, was enjoying a sunny afternoon exploring his beloved garden. The flowers were in full bloom, and the sweet scent of roses and honeysuckle filled the air. As he chased after butterflies and dug in the soft earth, he suddenly caught sight of something that made his heart skip a beat. A female Cairn Terrier, even more beautiful than he had ever imagined, was strolling gracefully along the edge of the garden. Her fur was a rich, glossy brown, and her eyes sparkled with a playful curiosity. Maxie's tail began to wag uncontrollably, and he felt a sudden urge to go and introduce himself. But as he approached, the female Cairn Terrier seemed to sense his presence and quickened her pace. She glanced back over her shoulder, and Maxie felt a shiver run down his spine as their eyes met. He knew in that moment that he had to know more about her, that she was special in a way that he couldn't quite put his paw on. As she disappeared around the corner, Maxie's heart sank. He couldn't let her get away, but how could he follow her without being too forward? He looked around the garden, his eyes scanning for any sign of her return. And then, he saw it, a small, delicate flower, lying on the ground where the female Ken Terrier had been standing. Maxie picked it up gently in his mouth, his heart racing with excitement. Could this be a sign, a way to find her again? As he set off in pursuit of the mystery Cairn Terrier, he couldn't help but wonder, who was she, and would he ever see her again? Maxie's heart was pounding as he raced through the streets, following the trail of the mysterious female Cairn Terrier. He clutched the delicate flower in his mouth, determined not to lose it as he searched for any sign of her. As he turned a corner, his heart sank. He saw the female Cairn being pulled away by a rough-looking dog thief, who was dragging her towards a nearby van. Maxie barked loudly, trying to alert anyone who might be nearby, but it was too late. The van door slammed shut, and it sped away, leaving Maxie alone and distraught. For a moment, Maxie stood frozen in shock, unable to move. But then, a fierce determination rose up within him. He couldn't let the dog thief get away with the female Ken. He had to do something to save her. Maxie raced back to his garden, his paws pounding against the pavement. He knew he needed help, and fast. He barked frantically, trying to get the attention of his human family. When they finally emerged from the house, he barked even louder, trying to convey the urgency of the situation. At first, they didn't understand what Maxie was trying to tell them. But then, he dropped the flower at their feet, and they saw the distress in his eyes. Maxie's human father quickly grabbed the leash, and the family set off in pursuit of the dog thief. As they ran, Maxie's heart swelled with gratitude. He knew he couldn't have saved the female Cairn on his own, but with his family by his side, anything was possible. They raced through the streets, following the trail of the van, until they finally caught up with it at a red light. Maxie's human father jumped out of the car and approached the van, demanding that they let the female Cairn go. The dog thief hesitated for a moment, but then saw the determination in Maxie's eyes and realized that he had met his match. He reluctantly opened the van door, and the female Ken leaped out, racing towards Maxie with joy and relief in her eyes. Maxie couldn't believe it, she was safe. He wagged his tail furiously, nuzzling up against her as they all piled back into the car and headed home. As they drove, Maxie couldn't help but feel a deep connection to the female Ken. She was brave, strong, and fiercely independent, just like him. And as they pulled up to their house, he knew that he wanted to see her again, to get to know her better. But would she feel the same way? Only time would tell. As Maxie looked into her eyes, he couldn't help but wonder, could this be the start of a beautiful romance?